Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I hope everyone is doing okay. Okay, here we are again. The weather is great here. My phone is still crooked. Let's see if that is better. Okay. Okay, this video is saving money versus life extension. So I am trying to save all the money I can, but I'm also trying to do the life extension. So in my case, since I'm 69 years old, the life extension is more important. So I have been watching video after video after video. So what I see is they take a lot of supplements but I don't think that is the way to go. I um, I subscribe to Rosicrucianism. Uh, not joining or anything, but um, here's my frozen tomato soup I made. But uh, what they say is clean water, clean air, and clean food. Easier said than done. And also, uh, uh, like 27 um, supplements a day, that's out. I take a prenatal vitamin, one a day, and I could take two a day. And it contains every vitamin you need for, for if you're pregnant. So I, I am doing the life extension. And then it's, uh, let's see, um, I'm not going to the food pantry tomorrow, and I will go into that in a minute, but basically they give you so much food, I have enough food for at least probably um, the end of next month. And I eat a lot, they just give you a lot of food. Okay, uh, and then beans, yes or no. Okay, I made this tasty uh, turkey burger. Here it is. And uh, I was asking, one of the things I'm doing to extend my life is I am trying to build muscle mass. Okay, that's sensible. That is going to help me. That is going to keep my body pumping um, blood where it needs to go. Uh, they say you start uh, losing muscle mass when you get older, but it's possible that you're just less active than you when you work full time. I know in my case that's true. And so I try to counteract that with walking, which is good. But when I joined the gym, I discovered that walking, I want to put some, so I bought these, uh, ch I got this cheese stick at the food pantry, it came in a little meal. So this is just enough to go on my tasty turkey burger. Okay, so I asked the girls at the gym, okay, I'm eating, uh, a lot of times we're eating way more food than we need to eat as well. So I said, you know, for breakfast, I'm having my oatmeal. For lunch, I'm eating three egg whites and two pieces of bacon. And they um, said, well, how about a little more carbs? And I thought, yeah, that's a good idea. So I, uh, and then one of the girls said, I told her I get uh, chicken, fish, and beef. And she said, why don't you get the 93% um all right i'll just melt this the 93% um turkey burger so here they had this at grocery outlet for 3.99 so i cut it in four pieces and then what i did was i froze these little bags i froze them in here so I have four portions for a month. So that is awesome. So um, let's see, in the turkey burger, I used to make these all the time. 
Uh, you know where I used to get, I used to get really good turkey burger, burger was uh, Aldi's. So this turkey burger was normally $3.99, I mean $6.22, and I got it for $3.99, so I saved about $2, otherwise 33%. Okay, this looks pretty good. Now, so what I put in my uh, turkey burger was I had homemade uh, sour cream. I've given you guys the recipe. I fried, I can show you how much I used. I fried my uh, turkey burger in some bacon grease. And uh, I put, I had homemade sour cream. And I used this just like butter. Uh... It's a lot cheaper, here it is, it's a lot cheaper than butter because, and then I freeze them, because it's made out, out of milk as opposed to uh, heavy cream. Okay, so yesterday, oh, I didn't take my carrots out. Uh, I decided uh, to go with frozen, uh, frozen veggies for dinner or salads, you know. So, um... I'll just zap these for a couple minutes. Okay, so it was cauliflower, broccoli, and carrots. It was a California blend this week. So uh, one, one, um, one bag of veggies lasts me for a week. So I discovered that. Now, what this is, is these are, I had two potatoes from the food pantry. And I mentioned to you last night that a long time ago, their food was mostly uh, porridge or gruel or like mush. And so I thought I am gonna get into the habit of this. So this is just potatoes. And if you cook them long enough, they break down to be like mush. And I thought this will do, take a look at this. Now, if times were hard, and I will put a little butter, if times were hard, then instead of uh, two potatoes, you might have uh, four portions of food. So why not just start, and you know, there's nutrients depending on the veggies in the liquid. Let's see if these are done. Okay. So, um, you know, we're learning as we're going along, and what we're learning is we're learning how to save money. Okay, I'm, just because, so uh, let me stir my, my butter into my gruel. This is good if you have no teeth. <laughs> That's not a joke. If I don't go to the dentist, I'm gonna be so sorry. Okay, now, so it was turkey burger, sour cream, chives, and um, cheese. So this has made a great turkey bowl. And then I have my um, potatoes, dry onions, chives, uh, garlic, and then I have parma garlic and Parmesan cheese. And uh, if I can find it, I like to eat uh, ketchup with um, this actually, it might not look good. Here's how much I have left. So I could eat this with crackers. I mean, if you, if you could put milk in that as well, if you want to, or cream. So I have a balanced meal here, turkey burger, a potato gruel, and carrots. Okay, now what I like to do is I like to eat meat. When I was doing the food pantry food, I was eating everything I, I got, and the food was really good. But then one day I got so hungry and I just started, uh, I got some uh, beef, and I ate meat for like two, three solid days. 
So that tells me that if there wasn't any, we could start getting pretty hungry. Good food, not too high in cost. Now beans, yes or no? Okay, by the time, you know, you cook everything down, I think making these uh, gruels and these um, beans, you know, cooked down beans would be better done in a crock pot. So for me, a $1 portion of meat is doable and we'll get into that this is good so the trick is find your meat marked down beans yes or no okay maybe a bean burrito for lunch Maybe some ranch beans on the side, but for uh, vegetarianism, I'm not doing that because I'm 69 years old and so far I've been healthy. I could drop. If I drop, you can say, see, she should have stayed with the vegetarianism. Food, water, and air. So if you cook your own food, you know what's in it. You know whose hands have touched it. And then if you can get to the point where you grow your own food, that is the best. Then you get your chlorophyll, your proper chlorophyll. And I have potatoes that have sprouted. How hard is it to stick one of these in the backyard? I'm going to stick them. They, they sprouted. I go, well, there you go. Uh, I'm kind of waiting to see if the gophers are returning. Okay, now, um, one of the reasons I went to the pantry is because I thought, wow, you know, this could save a lot of money, but at the same time, I could learn the pantry, which might really benefit me, and it really has. So um, after about three weeks, I could definitely see, I think, what was going on, but you never know what food you're going to get. Okay, I noticed the last time I went to the pantry, I went in the winter, and the pantry is busier in the winter, and I think that is because um, the utilities leave people less money out here in California, we can go without heat and without air. So um, the pantry, if anything happens, know that the pantry is going to be busier in the winter. Okay, so how much money was it saving me? Well, it was, it was saving me a lot between $37 and $48 a week. So I spent years educating myself. I, and recently... I have been studying, well, all kinds of things, Rosicrucianism, real estate, and so spending three three weeks going to the food pantry was well worth the time, plus I got all the food. Okay, so how to survive a food shortage? So, okay, if, if I was going to go to the pantry that I went to, they don't give you that much meat. So uh, you can survive on the food, and I did learn that, and we'll go into, into, in a minute, this trend of less meat. Now, my grandmother said during the Depression, the worst thing was no meat or not enough meat. I mean, they had meat, but not with enough that they were used to. So now on um, these $1 portions, when I was doing Hello Fresh. At night, it was between four and five um, ounces of meat. And I discovered I had a couple packages of meat in the freezer from HelloFresh. So once you know you need like a package, if you're going to have a hamburger once a week, you need one package for a month. Okay, uh, now what can I expect to be eating 
if I can't afford to buy meat. So I'm going to tell you in a minute what I can expect. They do have, um, they have the food bank and I included that in the discussion coming up. Um, no, some of these meat alternatives, uh, uh, they're like scary meat. They're not meat at all. And we don't really know what's in them. So I think it would be best to buy the meat at a place like, you know, Foster Farms. Uh, okay, um, so the worst thing about the depression was no meat. So, okay, how about if you're really broke, buy the meat first and go to the pantry. So think about meat, hamburger, one pound, that's one one dollar a portion, turkey, one, dollar portion uh chicken legs i bought a, a rack with 12 that is three um three um legs for a uh, four weeks bacon one pound and it's in my freezer and it's all cooked up i have a couple uh a couple pounds of uh raw bacon hot dogs one package but make sure you get eight so you can have two hot dogs for four weeks tuna you need four cans and the small hams so if you cut those in half you know the canned hams you cut those in half that is two for one month so it would be four dollars for the hamburger four dollars for the turkey burger uh, um the chicken legs were about six dollars uh the bacon i got those marked down so I bought the chicken legs. I can get meat marked down, and it's fine as long as you put it straight into the freezer. Hot dogs, tuna, and ham. And I, I, I added those wrong, but here are they in case you want to uh, get your meat. You know, if you have french fries, so um, meat, carb, potatoes, sweet potatoes, and rice. And then at the food bank, they gave us... Uh, beef jerky so I found these for um, I think it was six for a dollar so see the cheese that's enough for uh, I could put the cheese in my gruel if I wanted to that would be good this is good I mean why pay for soup that's nuts Okay, now, beans, I usually do eat beans for soup and as a, like a vegetable side, like these, um, this potato gruel, I would have my beans on the side. Cheese, I buy the large bags, mark down the $20 bags I get for $10.00. Cereal, I have oatmeal, and then I have other cereal, and I buy it so cheap at Grocery Outlet. Uh, lunch meat, okay, at the food pantry, they gave us lunch meat. So four packages per month gives you lunch meat, and if you have cheese. And then uh, vegetables, I mentioned frozen vegetables, one bag a week. Uh, bread, I prefer to make my own bread. The um, bread they gave me at the food pantry was really good, though. Uh, yogurt, cheese, and sour cream. If you have milk in your food storage, you can make that. All right, now let's see. What did I put back here? Okay, now today I was out of peanut butter. So this is peanut butter I made today. Sometimes I like to eat soup with peanut butter and crackers and cheese and crackers. So I used the raw uh, peanuts from Walmart and I peeled them before I roasted them and that was kind of a pain in the neck. And then the peanut butter turned out so good. I just I just ground it in the, the blender, you know, over and over. And when it was almost into peanut butter, then I added a tablespoon of, I roasted these without the peel for 250, 10 minutes on each side. If you like roasted peanuts, uh, you know what's good is these roasted peanuts in popcorn. Anyway, 
And then I put a tablespoon of oil, so these are well worth stockpiling. So what we can do is we can learn from the stu food pantry, but what's gonna help us more than anything, unless you don't have any money, then go to the food bank and get what they have every single week. So, okay, so let's think about the food bank. Okay, when I went to the food bank, we got a chub of Velveeta cheese. So that was like, uh, a pound of cheese, like the big bags. We got a two shelf stable milks and peanut butter and a can of salmon. So I would want to have in my stockpile cheese, milk, peanut butter, and salmon. So as soon as I find like the big bags of peanuts, probably in the shell, I will buy it and I will show you. I do have peanut butter though to last me for a while. Okay, then um, when I went to the week one, I got um, breakfast sausages, three quarters of a pound, veggie, vegetarian, those were good. So uh, it was enough for three meals and I still have some left. Uh, a large container of refried beans. Okay, that is like, on those refried beans were so good and you could make a burrito, but what I like to do is either make seven layer dip and have like eggs on the side and tortilla chips or a little bowl for good burrito or good. I never thought about buying those. I will buy them from now on. And you don't have to be afraid to buy a big one because you can freeze it. And six beef sticks. So it was lunch meat refry beans and beef sticks. So that's three, three uh, protein sources. Okay, and then, um, and then the third week, I got there late and on, I could have had eggs and cheese. They got nice salads too, eggs and cheese, but I already had some just like now. And then the third week, I got half a gallon of milk. So if your family is going without milk, that's a good reason for going to the food pantry. Okay, for the carbs at the food bank, uh, which I went, I don't know, two years ago, just before the COVID, a box of cereal, a box of oatmeal, brown rice, and a package of spaghetti. So at the food bank, you get a little bit more food. So I assume what that means is a box of cereal, a box of oatmeal, brown rice, and a package of spaghetti is one per week. Then at the pantry, we had potatoes and a box of oatmeal, and the, and the oatmeal was expensive. The, and then two loaves of bread, the brown bread. That is really good. I still have some. I got uh, also two packages of bagels. So I got a lot of bread. So if you have peanut butter, you have bread, you have lunch meat, and then um, pancake mix. So I like to make my own peanut butter and my own bread. Especially I like to make my own brown bread now that I know how to make it. Uh, this week I'm probably gonna make uh, applesauce bread to use up my apples. And then uh, a pancake mix and bagels. Okay, so now I learned from the food pantry, and they did this last time. I want to talk about hearty vegetables that are a lot of food that are going to fill you up. So at the food bank, it's more storable food. They gave us eight cans of soup. So if you have crackers and peanut butter, that's awesome. Then the pantry gave us three zucchini, an artichoke, um, six potatoes and eggplants. And then I got a small sweet potato and uh, um, and some potatoes. And then I didn't mention, I got a nice spaghetti sauce. So what I mean spaghetti squash. And so what I did is this week, because what's good about these is they also last a long time. I bought two hearty vegetables and what I will do is I will make soup like the gruel and on half of it and on the other half of it, I will uh, stuff it with meatloaf or something like that. So uh, let me give you a shot of this. So uh, the, the vegetarian way is cheaper, but um, I was drinking a lot of milk, a lot more than I normally do. 
and eating a lot of cottage cheese and a lot of sour cream, which is good. But if you think about a baby, if you don't wean them off of a bottle, they get milk fat. That's what we used to call it in the day. One time I was working in this really good area and I, this lady brought her baby in and I go, my gosh, your baby looks good. I mean, he had no body fat. And she goes, yeah, that's what the doctor said. I said, what did you do to him? She goes, the only food I give him is organic. And that was when they came out with the organic um, formula. And I thought, yeah, he was probably eating the same food they were. They were young, you know. Like, have you noticed the carnivore parents feed their kids, you know, carnivore? Okay, now let me see. Did I have anything else I wanted to tell you guys? This was a lot of content, actually. All right, so saving money versus life extension. If we can last 10 more years, they're going to make giant strides in the life extension. And I see the life extensionists are vegetarians, but we're not 10 years down the road yet. And then to remember... Fruit is sugar. So for years, I was on a low carb and high protein and a low sugar diet. So they also eat a lot of fruit. I think fruit is good, but no more than one, uh, you know, just loading up on fruit and vegetables, especially a lot of fruit with milk. I don't know about that. I would, I, so going to the gym is the most important thing I have to do. So um, I was doing a few extra things that was impeding my trips to the gym, so I had to stop those. Uh, I'm also doing the positivity thing. I think that's one thing that's going to help you live longer than anything. And so the life coaches say, listen to music from when you were young and you'll get in a really good mood, and you do. So positivity... And, uh, you know, joy of plants and flower arrangements. Okay, and uh, interior design, but not spending too much. And today, uh, I was going to do the typewriter search, and I never did find one. So, that's a, if you find them, they're easy to sell. And so, the other thing I started doing is buying better... Uh, quality food like uh, I got not more money just better quality I got the beans that were three dollar beans for the same price as the one dollar cans are your best bet and if your freezer can take it I am eating all the food down and the only thing that's going to be in my freezer probably is um, meat and cheese so that I can have a if you have a meat and cheese sandwich, it doesn't even have to have cheese, but cheese is good. Uh, I could have made this into a tasty uh, cheeseburger, but I had my gruel. Um, a meat and cheese sandwich, or if you have hearty bread with butter and cheese, um, also with the beef sticks, you know, like if you're broke, cut your beef sticks up and put it in your vegetables with some like peas. That's going to be good. I mean, top ramen with beef sticks and an egg on top. That would be fine. And you can get the beef sticks so uh, cheap too. And then the one uh, $1 meat portions. So if you stick to the oatmeal, the high protein lunch, and then your basic dinner with pretty much no snacks and very limited sugar and clean air and clean water. And uh, if you if you don't want to go to the gym, walking is good. When I retired, I said, you are going to walk or you are going to go back to work. So I have been trying to exercise. But 
I could not take any reasonable amount of weight off until I went to the gym. And so far I've lost five pounds, but muscle weighs more than uh, fat. So if I have built any muscles, which I can't tell, the five pounds is more significant because muscle weighs more than fat. So far, it seems as if I have all of my fat. <laughs> all right, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all. Bye-bye.